our mixture into our hot jars. We'll put the lids on and Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 So we're going to let this come to a boil um, for about 10 minutes. Okay. okay. Now tell us all, what all you have in there. Okay. Okay. So in this pot, we have chopped zucchini, garden grown zucchini. We also have um, bell peppers, green peppers from Muhammad Farm as well as some other red and yellow and orange bell peppers to give it a colorful confetti appearance. We also have onions, four large onion, um, green chilies, and I believe that's it. So the zucchini, the bell pepper, the onion, and the green chilies. And that's, that's the base of the vegetables. And then you have your syrup that you're making or your brine that you're making, and that is your Demerara sugar um, from your staple goods, as well as your cider vinegar, your turmeric, um, mace. your mace, thank you Sister Ann, uh -huh. your nutmeg, some crushed red pepper, some black pepper, and, I, and then whatever other seasonings you want to use. I added a little um, garlic granules, um, so whatever you want to use for your taste, celery, celery seed, that's a big one, celery seed. So it, it should be really good. It's gonna cook down. If you wanna zoom in to that, and it's gonna cook down. And we're gonna let that cook for 10 Ooh. minutes, and then we're gonna ladle it into our hot jars. The hot mixture into the jars. Okay. Okay. Again. Okay. What we're doing now is we're applying our lids in our ring, and we're putting them down hand tight. And from there, we're going to put our put our relish in the canner, and we're gonna a water bath canner, and we're gonna process it for ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Watch your watch your going. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I wanna get the Yeah, because we'll have to cut out the, the bad view back. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> now we're placing the hot jars in the canner. And the water, by the way, is hot. It's simmering, but it's not boiling. You don't start your canner, your timing, until you hear the water boiling the jars. Then you start timing. After the jars are in, you put the top on the timer on the canner, tight. And hopefully it will start boiling soon after, and that's when you start your timing. This one here is bubbling, like something's coming out, but the top is open. The top is like a big pimp over there. Okay, now we've got the lid on, and we wait until 
it boils. They are, they are good.